So we just arrived in Voi, we're currently heading to Lumo Conservancy, not too far from Savo. It's actually our first time in this area, so we'll see you at the camp! So we just entered Lumo Conservancy and we're on our way up to Lion's Bluff but on our way there we just saw a group of probably like 50 elephants and so many tiny babies that still can fit under mom. Beautiful. I have a feeling we're gonna like this place. So we just arrived at the camp and it's located like on top of a narrow mountain and it's pretty high so one side you see sunrise apparently and the other side sunset so it's promising. <laughs> So we've been to many, many places in Kenya and every few months we show up at a new place and we're like, well, it's never going to get better than that. Well, this is one of those moments <laughs> right now. Yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed, I'm not going to lie. So I think game plan is we're going to go eat some food, come back, and then we're going to share this beauty with you because you guys have to see this. It's unbelievable. And if the food is as good as this place looks, it's going to be the full package. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So it's yeah. good. <laughs> so we just arrived for lunch and the restaurant is stunning with an amazing view. The view just keeps getting better and better. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And for one, they have a really, really good wine selection and they actually, mm -hmm. in the menu itself, have like wine suggestion, like wine pairing, which is like a first. I've never seen that before. No, me either. So most of them are by the bottle, but like at the end, depending on what one you choose, yeah. it's so cool. Yeah, so food is order, we'll see. So we just got our food. I got the chicken parm. I feel like it could be very hot considering we just arrived. And it's delicious. So I got the bacon wrap filet. And it's as good as it gets. Mm. Wanna try mine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tracy's one might be a little bit better. Mm. I didn't try yours. Thank you. So we just finished lunch. It was mm -hmm. amazing. 10 out of 10. I mean, I have no complaint. Nothing negative to say. It was just delicious. Amazing. Um, we also just saw the entire property and I th yes. think we're going to show you over span. Yeah, because there's so much so and we just discovered like so many other things that are, are so cool. Some things that I've never seen in any other camps. Actually, two things. Yeah. Uh, can't wait to show you. The manager is amazing. She gave us a full tour. She's really passionate and really funny. Like, it's a good time. Oh my time. goodness, I am like, <laughs> my mind's a little bit blown Okay, right now, now let's go Should check go? out where we're staying. It's, it's phenomenal. Welcome to Lion's Bluff and let me show you. <laughs> okay, so we just come off the main path and we have a beautiful seating area here. You're gonna see the furniture, the colors, is a very modern with a lot of locally sourced things as well. I won't get into detail that much right now, but let's go into our room. I have to save the best for last. So welcome to our room. We have a beautiful bed here king size it looks nice because like the mosquito nets higher the ceiling is super high which makes it gives like a grander feeling um, and you even have like live plants inside as well there's one over here we have a seating area here again we can see amazing view which you will see you will see and then you come over this way there's actually two fans one on either side because I can imagine it may get really hot in the summer 
We have a desk here and water. So it's cool too that they have an 18 liter. Sometimes they just give little bottles, but that's nice. We have some Prosecco. We haven't dived into any of this yet. Um, each room is actually equipped with their own coffee press and everything as well. So you have your kettle for that, tea, coffee, and a beautiful little fruit setup. Mini bar down there. You can ask them to stock it with whatever you want them to stock it with. And then back here, we have a massive wardrobe space. There's even yoga mats in the back. So in the morning, you could go out on the deck, do some yoga or exercise, whatever you prefer. In here, the bathroom again is massive. <laughs> Double sink, I love the matte black sink. Great touch. Um, a beautiful bathroom with a view because of course, why not? Indoor shower. Now let's go, stand by. Now let's go see <laughs> the outside shower. So then outside, we even have an outdoor shower here. And then we're gonna keep going, keep going. Oh, there's actually an extra entrance here as well. There's like three entrances to your room. This is the wow factor. So your balcony here sees right over the plains. But if you look this way, your front of your room is all glass. So from your bed, from inside, you see straight into this beautiful view. And there was elephants here like five minutes ago that you could see from our room. How amazing is that? go for game drive we're late we're literally three minutes late it's, it's all fine I like I like being Canadian on time when we're not Canadian on time what about African time this is Kenya <laughs> Canadian time So this is gonna be our first safari ever in the Savo region. We have Honest there, who's gonna be our trusty safari guide. And hopefully we're gonna see a lot of elephants. We, all, we already saw a lot of elephants, so I think we're up to a good start. If you're one of the lucky ones and have a helicopter and are looking for a parking spot, they do have two helipads, so give, give me a call too. Thinking of Tsavo, much closer to like the Kenyan coast, I thought it was gonna be like super warm, but I guess it's not. found so many elephants and it's just so impressive to see them walk as a group with all the babies in the middle with the adult just around them and protecting them and now they're just they just stopped by one buffalo who looks like he's not happy he's a little scared with all those elephants around every time you find lions there's always like you know a dozen of cars just looking at those lions that are doing nothing just you know sleeping Tracy and I are always like no nah, we can skip the lion the funny part is is we're we're at the lions but we're looking across to the elephants <laughs> to the elephants yeah <laughs> like just through the trees <laughs> I can see one <laughs> out our sundowner spot on the top of a hill and as we're getting closer we notice there's a ton of elephants at the top. So we'll see. So it took a few minutes but the elephants decided to uh, to leave us uh, on top of the hill. For now. For now. <laughs> so we have a beautiful spot for sundowner but to be honest it is so cloudy right now that I couldn't even tell you where the sun is. I mean like look around. Where is it? This way? Is it is it this way? I'm not sure. Okay, 
Okay, so for the Sundowner, we have different options. What, what is this like? It, it's like sticky, chili, something. So like spicy cashews. caramelized cashews. Really good. Oh, so, so good. Mm -hmm. We got some little skewers with some sausage, ham, apple, and tomato, mm -hmm. which are really good. Really good. Spicy mayo with veggie spring milk. Spoiler alert, really good. This <laughs> is so good. Mm. <laughs> Little dip of that mayo. I think my favorite is the spring roll mm -hmm. and then the nuts. The nuts are so good. Your nuts. Your nuts. <laughs> Sorry, just, just watching for elephants. <laughs> we chased two out of here, so we'll see. They were literally right here, like exactly mm -hmm. where we're at. <laughs> So to catch you up off of our safari, we kind of did send down a really fast, got dark and we drove back. Yeah. Um, great safari. Yeah, we so saw some lines and stuff. The amazing a lot elephants. of elephants. Oh my goodness, I still can't get over that. Yeah, when they were like all like walking together, like 20, 30, 40 of them, I don't it know. Was like, it was so beautiful. Yeah. So now yeah. we're back at the lodge. Nice little fire going yep. on. And we're having some live cooking tonight. So we're, we yeah. just get our soup. And then after that, we go pick what we want, I think. And they just cook it in front of us. So I do like that new How concept. Cool is that? Yeah. yeah. So tonight they had a live cooking station and actually it's pasta live cooking. Um, so you can choose your pasta or rice with either beef or chicken, a whole bunch of veggies, so you can do tomato sauce or a white be bechamel sauce, is that how you say that? Shout out. That was really good. Oh, also they import their Parmesan cheese because it's that good. So we're really trying to be good, so we're sharing dessert. But I didn't know it was cheesecake before I said we were sharing it. Because now I wish we each had our own. Whatever, all good. So we're doing a picnic breakfast tomorrow because we want to be out for a little longer. So it's actually cool, instead of wasting anything, and um, basically you fill out this exactly what you want with the options. So then no waste, only comes what you want, what you're gonna eat. Yeah, it's great. Great supper, bellies are full. Stuffed. Now we're gonna go back to the tent and get shower. ready for bed. Yeah, a shower first. Yes. First day, I would say it was a success. Major success. <laughs> and I cannot wait to fall asleep right now, I'm so tired. Yeah, but now, exactly, we're gonna go to bed because tomorrow is a safari morning. That means early morning. <sighs> we're meeting our driver, Hannes, at uh, 6.15. 6 so yeah, see so you guys in the morning. By the way, we all have like a little controller for the fan. Yeah. Very fancy. You can just turn and it on. And they're like, they're really good fans. Yeah. Like the breeze is going through the net, which is rare. In terms of safari, I mean, this is as fancy as it gets. Yeah. See you in the morning. <laughs> Time for some coffee. Now, this room, you can actually make it in here. I think I mentioned that earlier. Sorry, I'm still half asleep. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> coffee time, it is. <laughs> Good morning guys. A little bit of colors this morning, just a little bit. I think it's gonna be a better day than yesterday in terms of cloud and sun situation. Otherwise, it's not too cold. We slept well and we're going on a morning safari. We're driving down the hill from the camp. There's this young male lion just walking in the middle of the street. But there's nobody else around, but he seems a little young to be just alone in the wild. So we're gonna see if we can find some more. Time for 
for some breakfast and I think we're both really, really hungry. So I'm excited. <laughs> we have a lot of good stuff for breakfast. We've got some sandwiches, some pastries, bacon. David has sausage, because I want a bacon. Fruit salad, he's got yogurt and granola, coffee. What more can you want? The sun? Yes, yeah, time to chill, but that's okay. <laughs> Bellies are full, now back on a game drive and let's see what we can find. Oh, hopefully ele elephants. We, we want to see more elephants. So we're almost back and as soon as you go up the hill where the camp is located, the view is just immediately stunning. It is unbelievable. Home sweet home. So nice little game drive with mm -hmm. a bush breakfast, which was delicious. Yeah. We came back and um, we heard there was an elephant right in front of our room. Yeah. So where there's like, it's super dry, the animals are coming more up and up and up. To find food. Yeah. So um, I know he's not supposed to be here, but I kind of want him to come back. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad <laughs> if he comes back. So now yeah. we're going to chill a little bit for about an hour, an hour and a half. Then we're going to go for lunch. And then after that, we're going to show you this amazing camp. There's so yeah. many things. It, it's going to be great. It's such a photographic photographical photo <laughs> photogenic <laughs> it's like i messed you up now it's such a photogenic area honestly like there's so many photo yeah. ideas i want to do so yeah it's just if the sun could be on our side that would be great but uh, you can't, <laughs> you can't have it all, all. And the best part of the day, it is lunchtime. I don't know if that's the best part or if I prefer supper. I probably prefer supper. See, I think I, I prefer think. lunch because I'm less hung. I mean, I'm more hungry for lunch. Fair than enough. Supper. But but today we're gonna all Whoa. prefer supper. You're gonna see why. <laughs> Not surprised, lunch was fantastic. Um, we did hear, I was told that they have an espresso machine here, so I had to get a cop cappuccino, cappuccino to try it out. This vlog, apparently, I just can't speak English. <laughs> mm, it's a good one, it's a really good one. So let's walk around, let's uh, digest some get caffeinated and show you this beautiful spot. So where we are right now is kind of the balcony off of the main dining room and you oversee a huge plane. Like, I just want more elephants to come so I can get out the binoculars. Oh yeah, by the way, you can borrow a pair of binoculars, keep them in your room, and you can look from your room to see if you see elephants or anything like that. That's cool. Okay, so we have the dining area behind me. Inside of the dining area, you have a really nice round fireplace. So everyone can sit around it, get the heat that we need to warm up, because it's been really chilly. And then over there, we also have the bar as well. And here is, I want to say tea time, but like honestly, it's been stocked every time we're here. So I think you can just show up whenever and get coffee. It's always there. Okay, so there's a couple things I want to know about this massive deck. First of all, I do love when they try and stay with the land. So you'll notice the trees are actually coming through the deck, even like that tiny one there. So another thing is this side is sunrise side. Also, this deck wraps all the way around where the dining was area was. We're actually at the back part of the dining area. And what it does on the other side is sunset. So at this property where it comes out on a point and kind of up, you can see sunrise and sunset in the exact same spot. That's amazing. Let's go. And 
just like that, we're at Sunset Side. Come on down here. Okay, so now down below is another huge, spacious, chilling area. We come to the most beautiful pool I think I have ever seen, to be honest. We have lots of loungers. We even have sunbeds that are semi-covered as well. Even the portion where you get into the pool is also semi-covered. Now, I want to say we're going to get in it, but it's been chilly and I haven't felt the water yet. Maybe it's heated. I don't think it's heated. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also my favorite part down here is come follow me this this behind me is my favorite spot it's so unique the way it's kind of built in so you have a fireplace here that's fantastic but up above is what I love so this is the outside bar and it's called the cave and if you just look at how everything's displayed and the way it's kind of built into the rock like a cave makes sense um, it's absolutely beautiful So as we leave the dining area, we're kind of doing this backwards because now we're going out to the main reception. Um, but this is kind of where you get dropped off with the truck and that's where we're gonna go to our room as well. Also, we're gonna ask for hot water so we can take a shower because they only do it from six to nine and six to nine, morning, night. But we did, we're tired, <laughs> so let's try this. So I'm not sure if you noticed, but actually from the way that we just took from reception and even there is a non-stared area to the pool, um, they have a full accessibility room. So it doesn't matter where you are, you can still access all of the facilities that everyone else gets as well. Okay, so this place is <laughs> way too fancy to look like slobs. Yeah. Um, so we're going to take a shower outside because we can and, and put a little uh, fancier outfits. There's, again, there's just so many cool spots. Yeah, because tonight we're staying here. Actually, we're not going on a game no. drive because this place is just stunning. Oh. And well positioned for sunset also, if we get one. Um, we didn't say there is one portion that we actually didn't show you because tonight something cool is happening there. Top secret. Yeah. <laughs> This is what happens when you think Sabo is coast and you don't bring sweaters. Currently dress heels, uh, big sweater. Take it off when we need to do a photo. Anyways, we're gonna move the party up to the place we didn't show you because it's something unique to a camp really and honestly just for tonight, I'm kind of excited. Have some Prosecco, have another glass of wine and then a different day tomorrow, to be honest. I'm excited. It's been great here guys, it's been great. So one of the two things that we didn't show you guys yet is this right here. They have an actual pizza bar and tonight it's pizza night obviously. They have a true oven for, for wood oven pizza. They just started the fire. I am so excited because pizza is the best. tonight we have a nice fire and sundowner here at the lodge with some snacks of course Time to go order pizza and you basically create your own pizza. I'm also getting distracted because I spy a cheese board over there which looks absolutely fantastic.
Okay, the pizza, pizza smells time. and looks delicious. It smells so good. Mm. That's pretty good. You have to try their pizza night. And you pick, did we say we pick what you pick? What yeah, you, you pick what you want on it. Put it in the pizza oven. It literally took like five minutes. Mm -hmm. High heels, stone, after dark, not a good combo. Shoes are off, we're walking home. <laughs> so at night we've been coming back and there's been these little tiny pouches. Last night there was like little candies in them with a quote. Tonight is amazing. Um, there's a couple tiny chocolates inside, but it says, if your dreams don't scare you, they're too small. So time for us to go to bed, even though we don't have to wake up super early tomorrow, which is very, very nice. I feel like this stay at Lion's Bluff, honestly, has been very different than any other safari. Mm -hmm. Just because there's a lot of different things you can do. Yeah, like a pizza bar. Yeah, like, what the heck? We have never had pizza on safari. No, never. And that tomorrow cool. we're also doing something that we've never done really on a safari. So that's going to be very exciting, yeah. very exhausting as well. Um, and we have... Plans for tomorrow night as well. So I it's think. a lot going on. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be like probably our busiest safari day ever. Yeah. So, so we, we, we get a recharge. Sleepy, sleepy. Okay, see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Yeah. So we just arrived at our spot for a bush breakfast under a beautiful acacia tree. And we have so much yummy food, which we are gonna need that energy for what we're doing after. Um, <laughs> so I'm excited. Let's eat. <laughs> We're having so much different fruits and look at how pretty those little pancakes are. There's like strawberries in them. I know, I didn't get pancakes because <laughs> I got pastries. Uh, cinnamon roll yeah. instead. We ordered some some omelette, they have ash browns and, and coffee for Tracy. Of course. Coffee is <laughs> <Coffee's> great. <laughs> great. That was a beautiful and delicious breakfast and now oh, it's it time really to good. go burn those calories. <laughs> Back in the room after our little hike, mm -hmm. and now it's time to relax. It's been a while since we uh, caught you up. Um, <laughs> had a massage, great massage, and they actually come to your room every time. They don't actually have a spa area for yeah. massage because it's more private. Oh, yeah, close I think it's windows. even better like that. I think so too. Yeah. So that was fantastic. Oh, stand by. Coke Zeros are coming. Yep. Thank Welcome. you very much. <laughs> so now we're gonna have a quick supper. By quick, I, I still mean like a three service, uh, five star dining, uh, everything. Yeah. But just a little bit earlier because tonight we're not going to bed early. No, no, no. I'm gonna go <laughs> way past my bedtime because we're going on a night game drive. And that's the really cool thing about private conservancies because in yeah. KWS Park, like the Masemara or like Mbeseli or places like that, you're not allowed to like do that at all. But in certain conservancy, including Lumo, you're yeah. allowed. So we're gonna take advantage of this yeah. and, and go on a night game drive. It's only our third one in two years, so. That's true, because I think the reason is they're still great, I recommend you to do it, but it's just hard for us to film, so. Yeah. Content-wise, sometimes we. But we have good lights, we have a much better camera. Oh yeah, it's the first time with this camera. Oh yeah, it's true. Well, oh. see you there. <laughs> So for the night game drive, we have two people with us, two guys. We have Peter behind the wheel, and then we have Honest, who's gonna be our spotter right there. Are I'll you ready? Sure. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
It was pretty fast and not that close, but we just saw a leopard. I thought we saw a lion at first, and then the closer we got, the more we saw. I counted at least eight. I'm pretty sure there was more, and so many cubs. Um, they actually were trying to hunt, and then they were unsuccessful, but they found a little burrow that uh, a porcupine was in. And the cubs are curiously trying to get the porcupine out somehow. I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> oh, isn't it past our bedtime? It is so past our bedtime. But it was a pretty good game drive. Like we saw like a lot of different animals, like including like massive porcupines. Yes. And then a ton of lions. Leopard. The lions was actually cool at the end though. Yeah, it was very nice. Like so I would say it was a very, very successful night game drive. I highly suggest it like, you know, it's it's not like a normal game drive. You normally no. don't see as much. We got very lucky tonight. But, you know, once in a while, I think it's a very fun thing to do. Anyway, we're going to see you guys in the morning. We're so tired. It's like 10 past 11. Whew. If you remember towards the beginning of the video, we said there's two unique things here. The pizza bar and this behind me. So this place is not done yet. It should be open within a month or so, maybe they hope. But this is gonna be probably the most unique room in the entire country. So here's what it is. It's a photographer hide when they have like two water holes that they're trying to fill up here. It's two rooms. But what makes this unique is the entire room is gonna be black. Yeah. So like, yes, you can put a light on if you want, but like, you shouldn't because yeah. you want the animals to come to you. Exactly. And not only that, they ordered some special glass that they're going to put like right there all along, like photography glass that will give you like basically no reflection. And that's yeah. one of the main reasons why all the rest is going to be black. So you're going to be able to take photos of the animals that are going to come like to the two water holes, like right there. So basically they plan to have a couple couches, maybe even a bed, they're not sure yet. And you come down here and the goal is to stay awake all night long, sleep if you have to, but to watch for the animals. So that's pretty cool. So make sure to like this video if you want us to come back here to show you what it's gonna look like and maybe spend the night here. Okay, so we just finished breakfast and I have to say we're really sad that it's time for us to go back to Nairobi. I know. I don't want to go. <laughs> this place has felt like another little home away from home. And the rooms, guys, the rooms and the views, decor, I can't say enough yeah, good. It's wonderful. Definitely one of the best safari camp that we have ever visited. Yeah. This is, I think, our 30th now? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And like from the staff, the food, the quality of like the lodge, the accommodation and everything that you get is, is just, it's as good as it gets. Like yeah, it's yeah. really, truly a top tier camp and mm -hmm. I cannot suggest it enough. Yeah. So basically you just have to come and find it out for yourself because like I say, I don't think there are enough words. I could go on forever actually yeah. uh, <laughs> to justify this place, but man, yeah, it's beautiful. So anyway, highly suggested. Mm -hmm. We love their experience. We were here for three days. I would say three days, like kind of the perfect amount of time. We yeah. saw like a little bit of everything, had Did time to relax and everything. Did a hike. Yeah. And um, back on uh, night game drives, if you're here <clears throat> for three nights, then yeah, I would definitely suggest do it. If Why you not? come for a night or two, it's not necessarily a priority yeah. uh, because day game drives are just better in general. Like we were just very lucky, like seeing leopards is, is very lucky. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so overall an amazing experience. All yeah. their information are gonna be down below. Have a look at their Instagram. There's a lot of good stuff in there. And otherwise, see you guys. And the next one, oh, by the way, they have an espresso machine. Very yeah. good. Yeah.